Hi there, welcome to Jake's Place Songs and Tales. I'm Tia, and I'm positively excited that you've decided to learn how to play guitar. You know, I was just about your age when I got my first acoustic guitar and started writing songs and singing on stage. Then, my guitar became my friend. In fact, I've given my guitar a name. I call her Rose because of her beautiful mahogany rosewood. Maybe you could name your guitar too. Today we're going to spend some time learning about our guitars, letting them become our friends. Like you, guitars have a body. This is the body. And a neck. This is the neck. And of course, we have to have a head. This is the head of the guitar. The body, the neck, and the head. These funny things sticking out are called tuning pegs, and we're going to learn more about them later. But right now, we're going to learn how to take care of our guitar. The first thing you need to do is learn the name of your guitar, the make of the, and the model of your guitar. If you look on the end, you should see the name of your guitar. Mine's a tailor. And if you look in the hole of the guitar, you should be able to see a little label that says the name of the guitar, Taylor, and a code. This is a code for you to write down or have your teacher or your parents write down in case your guitar gets stolen, lost, or broken. Okay, then you can replace it. You will have six strings on your guitar, like mine has. These strings have names, and we're going to have to memorize these names so we can learn how to play the guitar, make chords, and do guitar leads later on. The names of the guitar strings are E, A, D, G, B, and E. I know that's kind of hard to remember, isn't it? You might want to write it down for now, but a clever way to learn these is to come up with a little rhyme to go with it. I like this one. Every ape does good banana eating. <laughs> Say it with me, ready? Every ape does good banana eating. There you go. E a, D, G, B, and E. Those are the names of your guitar strings. Now, there are three things to making a sound or a tone on any instrument, whether it be a piano, your voice, or your guitar. And before we wrap up today, I just want to run over these three things. First of all, you need energy. When we play our guitar, our energy is our hand coming down on the strings. Then you need vibration. Where do you think the vibration comes from with your guitar? You got it. Your guitar strings. Then you need a soundboard. You need something for the vibration to bounce off of. And that's why you have the hole in your guitar. Your hand hits the strings. The vibration bounces around inside of the hole and comes out. And there you have a beautiful tone. There's my G. Now look what happens if you were to take your hands and hold these strings down and try to hit them. They can't vibrate, right? Try that with me. Now, let them go and watch what happens. The strings vibrate. I'm going to teach you a note today as well. Do you remember our E string at the top? We're going to take our finger and we're going to put it on the third fret. These little bars here are called fret bars. And we're going to put it on number three. We've just created G, our very first note. Isn't that cool? 
Practice it with me. Ready? Now, in guitar world, we would turn our hand upside down like this. Press the string down. It's hard. And you've got G. Very good. Now, I like to call this segment of our guitar lesson kibbles and picks for Jake. This is called a guitar pick. Some of you may have a guitar pick. Some of you may not. So before we go, I'm going to show you a fun way that you can make your own guitar pick. Ready? You may have a cottage cheese container at home or a margarine container. These are always amazing to save. Just take the lid, take your guitar pick, the one that the teacher has, trace it out like this. Then take your scissors and cut it out and you will have your own very own guitar pick okay have fun with it guys and we'll see you next week on jake's place songs and tales guitar shop bye